ओम शांति थर्ड सेप्टेम्बर 2019 ट्यूसडे द एसेंस फ्रॉम टुडे स्मुली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन टेल एवरीवन द सीक्रेट ऑफ आबू बीइंग द ग्रेटेस्ट पिलग्रिमेज प्लेस ऑफ ऑल इट्स वी दैट गॉड हिमसेल्फ ग्रैंडेड एवरीवन सल्वेशन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन tell everyone the secret of abu being the greatest pilgrimage place of all it's here that god himself granted everyone salvation so today's whole murli is about the glory and the splendor of mount abu and baba repeatedly said mount abu is the greatest pilgrimage this is the place where you will find the memorial of god teaching raj yoga this is the place where you will find the model of heaven this is the place where which is going to become famous one day this is the place baba said in today's murli don't know what is going to happen with mount abu so the entire murli is based on the glory on the beauty on the greatness on the splendor of abu there was a time when they used to write abu like this double o and the name of this place as the pilgrimage place is has been mentioned even in the ancient indian scriptures like puranas and they have mentioned it as arpudachal and later on they called it arbudaranya the forest of abu and abu is the diminutive form of arbudaranya the forest of abu and this abu used to be it's probably the only hill station of Rajasthan and it was quite famous during the earlier times when people used to come here for rest for picnic and if you look at uh, the history of Abu it was ruled by different dynasties throughout the ages earlier they were parmas and then they were defeated and overthrown and took over by gurjars and this entire rajasthan and gujarat they were ruled by inha- inhabited by gurjars and later on earlier this mount abu was in gujarat but later on when rajasthan and gujarat were separated it got a separate status so at present this is the only hill station of rajasthan and it is known as oasis in the desert so baba is saying sweet children tell everyone the secret of abu being the greatest pilgrimage place of all it's here that god himself granted everyone salvation and the best telling us to reveal the secret to everyone that abu is the place which is going to become famous abu is the place where you will have people from all over the globe visiting one day this will become the sinashur of all eyes this will become the place of attraction 
this will become the spiritual hermitage the spiritual pilgrimage or the greatest pilgrimage in the world so this abu is not the ordinary land this is a land where god has descended and did his elevated work of transforming human beings and in today's murli baba said this is the place where you have living dilwada this is the place where you have the model of heaven this is the place where you know where the people will come and they will understand that this is the memorial of god's descent this is the memorial where god taught ancient rajyoga the pristine rajyoga has been taught preached revealed and un- unraveled at this place so explain this to everyone let's go to abu tell everyone let's go to abu there was a english poet and she had written probably she visited mount abu in 1839 that's long back almost 1838 or 39 almost 100 year before god's descent this lady from london this english poet her name was Leticia Elizabeth Landon L E L So in one of her books she wrote about Mount Abu and that poem is quite famous and that poem describes the glory of Mount Abu that poem describes the valor of Rajputs because Mount Abu is the place where different sages like Vashisht and even the incarnations like the tatre has have been associated it said that when vashisht had differences with sage vishwamitra he had retired to the southern spur of mount abu and here he meditated and he had created a yagya and from that yagya one agni purush was had come out and that said to be the first rajput and that's how the rajputs were created so this english poet had written a poetry in 1838 39 and in that poetry she is describing the glory the beauty of abu or the valor of the rajput warriors she writes The name of the poem is Hindu Temples on the Mountain Lake of Abu. Old English writes Hindu like this double o and even Abu is written as double o. That's how they used to write Hindu and Abu. So she writes a poem. From the hills they descend as wild as the river. which spring hath unloosed like a shaft from up its quiver with light on its water and foam on its banks so gather these free waves so gather these ranks there is gold on the housings she is describing how rich abu was once upon a time there is a gold on the housings and gold on the rain the rain of the horses had gold that checks the bold courser the guide to the plain more precious by far to the warriors are the matchlocks they carry the saber they wear matchlocks means guns and saber means sword so they are very precious by far to the warriors are the matchlocks they carry the saber they bear red red is the turban that girdles their brow more ready Redly the blood of their foemen shall flow free the wings of the heron that wave white at its side more free are the rajputs to battle who ride the spelling of the rajput is written as double o 
they have kept their old hills unsubdued by a foe so mount abu she is saying is very protected it is unsubdued undefeated invincible the foe the enemy has not reached this place because of the rajputs there is a death and defeat in the country below but rajputs have kept their ancestral hills untrod nobody has trodden this place nobody has dared to traverse to come across this place like their snows and unchained like their rills rills means small streams so these rajputs have protected abu they have kept it undefeated they have kept it preserved hmm sherga the village of the lions the muslim the spelling of muslim is different muslim these are muslim rulers the muslim sweeps on with his banner of green the muslim rulers came with their flag green and ruins have marked where the crescent has been but here the sole crescent that ruleth on high is where the young moon first appeareth in the sky sail down by the jamna and what will ye find but the horse tail and crescent that sweep on the wind the ottoman conqueror rules to the sea ottoman means turkish but not over these mountains the fearless and fear and free so she is saying that muslim rulers came but they could not touch abu she is saying that this ottoman rulers they could not touch this abu this abu remained free and this abu remained fearless the horse tail and the crescent by those she is describing and comparing no prayer writ writ in gold from the walls is effaced no prayer which was written in abu is effaced no altar is leveled no shrine is defaced the sons of the mohammed all else may subdue mohammed maha maha mahomet probably she is talking about mohammed but safe amid their clouds are the heights of abu so abu remained extremely protected insulated undefeated invincible throughout the history because of the warriors so she is describing the sabu and in whole murli is based on mount abu today so why this mount abu is so important this whatever i told till now this is the history now present why this is so important why every place baba is saying chalo chalo let's go to abu let's go to abu if you want to come if you want to see this go to abu if you want to do this go to abu if you want to understand what is god go to abu so multiple places such diverse and many myriads of statements have come so why this abu is so important now tell tell at least 100 points this is the model of heaven rather this is the model this is the heaven on earth this is the seventh wonder this is the wonder of the world there are seven wonders of the world earlier there were classics wonder of the world then there are other seven wonders then there are many seven wonders of the world this is the greatest wonder of the world what else this is the house of the father abu means abba abba means father so this is the house of the father this is the house of the mirror shish mahal this is the place where god has descended this is the place where you meet god this is the place where all the brahmins are born this is the place where brahma had come this is the place where all the ancestors of the yagya had done tapasya this is the place of tapasya this is the place of penance this is the place of peace this is the place of peace tower this is the place of transformation parivartan bhumi and as an entity you come here you cannot get transformed so the frequency of coming to mount abu should be more not once a year 
because the moment you are here you are in a very different arena a different field the moment you got out of this world the whole world is filled with vicious vibrations the whole world there's a wind of vices so abu is the greatest pilgrimage abu is the topmost land abu is the purest land abu is the land of entertainment manoranjan bhumi abu is the sweet land madhur bhumi abu is the unlimited club abu is the unlimited airport this is the aerodrome you come here and you take flight abu is the unlimited laundry where the dirty clothes of the souls are washed abu is the headquarters of brahma kumaris abu is the living delwada abu is the living achalgar which remains stable unflinching abu is the invincible land abu is the land of the brave abu is the hmm is the tower of purity the nabu is the hmm it's a haridwar the real haridwar is this the real gaushala the real uh, kaushid abu is the hmm abu has got four pilgrimage places okay what else tell at least 100 i said these are not even 10 this is the asylum this is the asylum the whole world is going to become mental hospital one day and souls would run to abu to seek refuge to seek heaven to seek solace the sabu is the peace of place of solace a place of comfort the souls would be restless the souls would be running helter skelter one day and that time in that scenario in that situations abu would appear as the mental asylum mabu is the greatest hospital it's the global hospital the world from the globe would come to seek relief for alleviation of their pain their suffering for the mitigation of their sorrow and their misery yes unlimited air drum it's a place where you get passport it's a unlimited station it's a tv station whatever is done here is followed in the world what else it's a lake it's a a uh, magical lake where you dip and you convert into fairy as in yesterday sakar murli baba said they talk about indra sabha they talk about the assembly of indra so there are fairies so this is the land where you get transformed this is the land of lakes this is lighthouse this is the might house this is the topmost land this is the land of birth of brahmins this is the land of tapasya of brahmins this is the land where all the dadis and all the seniors from the yagya stayed what else out of angels this is going to become house of angels even now it is the house of angels what else it's madhuban it's a forest of shishma said already so it's a forest of honey it's see madhuban and madhuban means two things sweetness and vairag sweetness and disinterest recently there was a murli you no know, talking with madhuban residents baba said madhuban means there is sweetness in the tongue how should be your speech how should be your speech recently there was a murli about a month back sundays of yakta murli how should be the speech of madhuban residents 
they should be sweet they should be recorded as if they should get recorded and they should spread the vibes across the world so madhuban is the greatest ashram is the greatest monastery this is the greatest place the greatest pilgrimage place the greatest mat the greatest commune it's, it's a spiritual commune where the spiritual community stays together you will not find such commune anywhere in the world where thousands and thousands and lakhs of people come the total number of visitors in a mount abu is how much monthly 3 lakhs so the if you analyze the sprawling campus of shantivan how many visitors are coming there a very large number a hooping number is coming every year Mount Abu is the army camp. It's the army camp, and we are the spiritual army. We are the spiritual army. This is the fort. This is the unlimited fort. In this fort, there are no vikramas. In this fort, there are no sinful actions. In this fort, you remain protected, insulated, unsubdued. So this is the fort. this is the fortress this is the citadel this is the boat abu is a boat which boat that takes you across the world that takes you from the bitter channel to the sweet channel and abu is that boat which is taking you across the world abu is the beauty parlor where you come to become Where you come to become? Where you come to become beautiful, because you had become black, dirty, and now Abu itself is a beauty parlor. It's an unlimited beauty parlor where God is the beautician, and in this parlor, not just He makes you beautiful, but He turns you into a beautician so that you can go out and make others beautiful. this is the de addiction center abu is the de addiction centers because people are addicted not just to alcohol wine to drugs but to sensual pleasures and to vices so this is the place where unlimited de addiction is taking place so abu is the rehab center de habilitation center Nabu is the engineering college where you are taught how to become, how to do spiritual reengineering, how to do inner reengineering. Nabu is the medical college where you are taught to become spiritual doctors. Nabu is the fire brigade. It's the fire brigade. What you do with this fire brigade? There is a fire in the world. The world is on fire. it's burning in vices it's burning in vices so abu itself or madhuban itself is the fire brigade madhuban is the furnace is the furnace you come here and you become strong by getting burnt so this is the burning pit where the souls come which are raw and the bricks become mature bricks become strong so this is the this is the spiritual furnace the nabu is the factory which factory hmm so this is the factory on one side they put in today's murli baba said baba is pumping gyan into your heads so this is the factory So this is the one end of the factory and this is another end. Human beings are put into this factory and they come out as leaders. They come out as spiritual leaders, they come out as deities. So this is the factory to convert humans into deities. Then this is the gymnasium. Abu is what? Gymnasium. This is the you become spiritual gymnast. Abu is the garden of Allah. 
this is the garden of Allah you come to Abu and you become beautiful flowers earlier you were thorns now you get converted into fragrant flowers blossoming flowers beautiful flowers and you emit you spread across the world that divine fragrance of purity so Abu is the what? garden of Allah Abu is the Ganges Abu is the place where Pandavas live then Abu is the hostel which hostel? it's a spiritual hostel where you get spiritual trainings so this is a very dedicated hospital to the spiritual inmates who want to progress in their spiritual life so you have to enter and take admission into this hostel then Abu is the insurance company where you insure and what? okay then is the jewelry shop where you get different jewelries that we said already uh, pilgrimage means four pl- um, this then Abu is the magical place already said then Abu is the laboratory of God lab of God this is the laboratory also the library this is the greatest library in the world and nobody can burn this as they burned it Nalanda or they burned Alexandria this library cannot be burnt so these are the greatest books of spirituality the greatest scriptures of spirituality are found here so Abu is the lab where spiritual experiments take place then Abu is the might house Abu is the nature cure center Abu is the orchestra of God where you listen different melody different music different symposium different concerts take place here spiritual musical concerts where you listen divine melody spiritual music where you listen spiritual songs then Abu is the shopping mall which shopping mall? super bazaar where you get products of gyan and yoga this is the supermarket once you come here you don't have to go anywhere whole life can be spent in this market you don't have to go anywhere to get anything of the world of life then Abu is the school unlimited school unlimited university so school and university and then this is the tree of sandalwood and this is the Taj Mahal of divine love and this is the laundry club airport post office this is the unlimited post office whatever you put that will reach this is the unlimited kumbh fair this is the unlimited mine khan of treasures then this is the voting booth voting booth where the election is going on as to who is going to become the emperor and empress of the world so this is the selection and the voting booth then Abu is the vaccination center where you get vaccinated with spiritual vaccines so that you don't get diseases then this is the world museum spiritual museum said already this is the warehouse this is the world stage Abu is the world stage and we are sitting on the world stage we are on the world stage performing our elevated actions and whatever that is done on the world stage is emulated is emulated mimicked and copied by the whole world so the actions of the residents of the Madhuban of Madhuban should be very elevated because you are on the world stage Madhuban is the Yajna this Mount Abu is the sacrificial fire where the whole world would one day this already said transformation land Abu is the yoga center where you learn yoga Abu is the relaxation place yes Abu is the relaxation place Abu is the gift house Abu is the real shamsha oh okay 
that's quite new <laughs> so this is the graveyard where you come to die okay <laughs> then abu is the gps that is a global positioning system this is god's positioning system or gyan positioning system so this is the gps the spiritual gps then abu is the okay get way to heaven that said in today's murli baba said abu is the that's these are almost but still 100 are not finished i said 100 these are just 80 might be <laughs> so find out what is abu and what is the glory of abu and what is the glory of mount abu what is the history of mount abu what are the tourist places of mount abu what is the importance of each and every place of mount abu and what god has said about mount abu and what we think about mount abu and what brahma used to think about abu and why god has selected this place there were so many beautiful places other places like himalaya why god did not select himalaya to come and there were other mountains like olympus and there were in the world also there are so many mountains outside india in the world also there are be- not just mountain but beautiful switzerland is there he could have come there but he preferred to come in this land in the land of magadh he has come in this land of magadh he has not come in that other land he has come to this land so why god has selected this land so this today's whole murli is about abu so what is slogan let's go to abu if anything prob any problem let's go to abu <laughs> but before coming contact accommodation department <laughs> don't say that we have said in murli in the class that go to abu that's why we are coming to abu come to abu but before make contact with accommodation department <laughs> and take the permission then only come otherwise um, <laughs> otherwise slogan change go back from abu <laughs> let's go to abu otherwise your slogan would be go back to abu so it's good that you make a pull otherwise you will have to build a pull from sri lanka to india those monkeys build pool from india to sri lanka from lanka you will have to build a reverse pool from lanka to india so glory of mount abu is unlimited om shanti